Our universe is vast and mysterious. It stretches out beyond our comprehension, filled with billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars. Planets orbit these stars, some perhaps harboring life. The scale is truly mind-boggling. Imagine traveling at the speed of light. It would take years to reach the nearest star, millions of years to cross our galaxy, billions of years to reach the farthest galaxies we can see. The universe is a realm of unimaginable distances, and yet we strive to understand it. We build telescopes, we launch probes into space, we develop theories to explain its workings. The quest to understand the universe is one of humanity's greatest endeavors. It's a journey of discovery that never ends. We gaze up at the night sky in awe. We wonder about our place in the cosmos. We ask fundamental questions. Where did it all come from? What is it made of? What is its ultimate fate? These questions drive us to explore. They fuel our curiosity. They inspire us to reach for the stars. When we talk about the edge of the universe, we often mean the edge of the observable universe. This is not a physical boundary. It's a limit set by the speed of light and the age of the universe. We can only see as far as light has had time to travel to us. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old. So the farthest we can see is about 13.8 billion light years away. This is the radius of our observable universe. It's a sphere centered on Earth. It encompasses everything we can currently detect. However, the universe itself is much larger than the observable universe. It might even be infinite. We can't see beyond the observable universe. The light from those distant regions hasn't reached us yet. It may never reach us. This limit of observation creates a fascinating paradox. We are at the center of our observable universe, but that doesn't mean we're at the center of the entire universe. Every point in the universe is the center of its own observable universe. It's a perspective shift that challenges our understanding of space. The universe is not static. It's constantly expanding. This means that galaxies are moving away from each other. The farther away a galaxy is, the faster it's receding. This expansion is driven by a mysterious force called dark energy. Dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe's total energy density. It's a repulsive force that counteracts gravity. It causes the expansion of the universe to accelerate. We don't fully understand dark energy. It remains one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. The expansion of the universe has profound implications. It means that the observable universe is constantly growing. As time goes on, we can see farther and farther into space. New galaxies come into view. Old ones recede further away. The expansion also affects the fate of the universe. If the expansion continues to accelerate, the universe will eventually become cold and dark. Galaxies will be so far apart that they will no longer be visible to each other. This scenario is known as the Big Freeze. What lies beyond the observable universe? This is a question that has intrigued scientists and philosophers for centuries. Since we cannot directly observe it, we can only speculate. Several theories attempt to describe the unobservable universe. One possibility is that the universe is simply much larger than we can see. It might extend infinitely in all directions. This idea is consistent with current observations. There's no evidence that the universe has an edge. Another theory proposes the existence of a multiverse. In this scenario, our universe is just one of many universes. Each universe might have different physical laws and constants. Some might be hospitable to life, while others might be barren. Some theories suggest that the universe might be finite but unbounded. Imagine the surface of a balloon. It has no edge, but it has a finite area. Similarly, the universe might be finite in volume but without a boundary. These are just a few of the many possibilities. The true nature of the unobservable universe remains a mystery. It's a realm beyond our current reach, but not beyond our imagination. Section 5. Echoes of Creation, the Cosmic Microwave Background One of the most important pieces of evidence for the Big Bang Theory is the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. This is faint radiation that fills the entire universe. 
It's a remnant of the early universe when it was hot and dense. The CMB was emitted about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. At that time, the universe had cooled enough for atoms to form. This allowed photons to travel freely through space. These photons have been traveling ever since, gradually stretching out as the universe expands. Today, the CMB appears as a faint glow in the microwave part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's incredibly uniform, with a temperature of about 2.7 Kelvin. However, it contains tiny fluctuations in temperature. These fluctuations are the seeds of the large-scale structures we see in the universe today. Studying the CMB provides valuable insights into the early universe. It allows us to probe the conditions that existed shortly after the Big Bang. It helps us understand how the universe evolved into its current state. Section 6. Reaching for the Edge the limits of technology. Can we ever reach the edge of the observable universe? The answer is likely no. The distances are simply too vast. Even traveling at the speed of light, it would take billions of years to reach the farthest galaxies we can see. Furthermore, the universe is expanding. The farther away a galaxy is, the faster it's receding from us. This means that the edge of the observable universe is constantly moving away from us. We can never catch up. However, that doesn't mean we can't explore the universe further. New technologies are constantly being developed. These technologies allow us to see farther into space and study the universe in greater detail. We are building larger and more powerful telescopes. We are developing new techniques for detecting gravitational waves. We are sending probes to other planets and moons. These efforts are expanding our understanding of the cosmos. Section 7, The Fate of the Cosmos, End of Universe Scenarios. The fate of the universe is one of the most intriguing questions in cosmology. Several scenarios are possible depending on the nature of dark energy and the overall geometry of the universe. One possibility is the Big Freeze. If the expansion of the universe continues to accelerate, the universe will eventually become cold and dark. Stars will burn out. Galaxies will drift apart. The universe will approach a state of maximum entropy. Another scenario is the Big Crunch. If the density of the universe is high enough, gravity might eventually overcome the expansion. The universe would then begin to contract. Galaxies would collide. The universe would eventually collapse into a singularity. A third possibility is the Big Rip. If dark energy becomes stronger over time, it could eventually tear apart the fabric of space-time. Galaxies, stars and even atoms would be ripped apart. The universe would end in a catastrophic singularity. Section 8. The Unending Quest, Our Journey of Cosmic Discovery. Our journey to understand the cosmos is an ongoing process. Each new discovery raises new questions. Each new theory opens up new avenues of exploration. The universe is constantly surprising us. We have come a long way in our understanding of the universe. We have learned about its origins, its evolution and its structure, but we still have much to learn. The universe holds many mysteries yet to be unraveled. The quest to understand the universe is a fundamental human endeavor. It's a testament to our curiosity and our desire to know our place in the cosmos. It's a journey that will continue for generations to come. Section 9 the unknowable vastness, embracing the mystery. The universe is vast and mysterious. It stretches beyond our comprehension. We can only glimpse a small fraction of its totality. The rest remains hidden from our view. This vastness can be daunting. It can make us feel small and insignificant, but it can also be inspiring. It reminds us of the infinite possibilities that exist in the cosmos. Embracing the mystery of the universe is part of the journey of discovery. It's okay to not have all the answers. It's okay to be awed by the unknown. The universe is a source of wonder and inspiration. Section 10, a cosmic perspective, our place in the universe. From a cosmic perspective, our planet is a tiny speck of dust in a vast universe. Our lives are fleeting moments in the grand scheme of cosmic time, but that doesn't diminish our importance. We are part of the universe. We are made of the same stardust that forms the stars and galaxies. 
We are connected to the cosmos in profound ways. Understanding our place in the universe can give us a sense of perspective. It can help us appreciate the interconnectedness of all things. It can inspire us to live our lives with greater meaning and purpose.